Sounds like trouble. It must be the Daily Dose. I'm Robert, <laughs> my pal Susan. Um, you know, one of the things we we do on purpose here is show up without knowing. Um, and and I, I, I think that's a gift. This is the unknown, right? This is the the being lost thing. It allows us to say, yeah, this is what I'm thinking in the moment. And here's what I'll say. I'm thinking in the moment, um, you know, I, I am filled right now from my visit here to Las Vegas and being... I got to visit with four really important people on my PhD journey. That's, you know, uh, James DeVolta, Dustin Davis, Dr. Crabb, and Annie Wiseman. And to experience with Annie the funeral for her father, long suffering. And she's a woman who does unbelievable work for hospice. So she knows the space well. And yet she has eight family members, brothers and sisters. She's one of eight. And, you know, she was talking about the diversity of thought and and feeling through all of this. And it's like, wow. And the word she kept coming back to was knowing and yet accepting other people on their journey. And to hear her use the word acceptance, God, that was great. That, but I know what's right. I know what would work. Doesn't matter. I'm part of a family. I don't get my way just because I may know best. I can advocate. I can speak my truth. And she did this wonderful yes and thing where she, oh, and here's what she said. She said, wow, this was to one of her siblings, I think, wow, I love you and I completely disagree with you. <laughs> I can so hear and see her saying that. That's wonderful. I, I can't tell you how much that tickled me because it honored her as well as her, her loved one. And what a great thing, because I think you and I are similar in this regard. We probably eat it ourselves when someone else has a need. We go, okay, let me listen to you and maybe serve them. And we end up walking away feeling angry, sad, whatever, because we didn't, you know, say the other part to say, I love you. And yes, and I completely disagree with you. That is leave it just there. Yeah. It's respectful. It's honest. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, And you don't feel left out when you make that, when you make that. I didn't, I didn't, you know, harm myself to serve you and, and, and then get mad at why I'm bleeding. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually writing about being heard and being understood. Yeah. This time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. That is that is the next level. It is one thing to say, I hear you say, and then it is the next level to to be able, as we always say, give the chance to for the person to reply, go, that's right. And or to go, yeah, you got most of it. Here's the kind of adjustment to that. That's the power of not you said, and I was thinking about this versus I heard you say, right? Because how many arguments go, no, 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 you said and it's like that, that's the defensive thing versus. I heard you say, which is open for the person who sent it to go, not quite. Or you know what? Maybe I said that, but that's not exactly what I meant, mm-hmm. right? That's mm-hmm. the respect of I heard you say. It's mm-hmm. here's what it, came through to me. You're building a collaborative collaboration, co-creation, a co-creation, as it were, to, for, for, for <laughs> being up for that. <laughs> yes, um, your. Oh, trust the unknown. You 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 just referenced that, Robert. And we've played games for three and a half years, teaching me to trust the unknown. Mm-hmm. That's a really scary concept. And when you write your story and you and you're, I mean, I'm writing it metaphorically, but I'm telling a true story. And to trust the unknown is really huge. And because I commit very authentically to what I'm writing and care that it's honest, I can't just write something down and pretend like it's what I did. You know, I have to trust the unknown. And there's some big stakes here. And I don't know that, I think it takes three years of playing improv games in which various aspects which I later learn are applicable to the day one program are taught. Uh, you, you think you're playing improv games. You're actually practicing successful skills in life. 
like learning the difference, but as you were just saying, between, well, you said, and I heard you say. Subtle, you, but vastly different, right? Yeah. Hooray for improv. I mean, hooray to, for you for under, seeing, seeing that and continuing to pull on that and finding new ways to apply games to life or life to games because it, it's working, man. Games to life, life to games. Well, with that, the invitation is out to everybody. The Jam for Joy is improv on Tuesdays and Thursdays, especially our young young onset members. And by the way, that can be people from all aspects, like the family members, the care partners, the wellness medical practitioners, you're all invited. So Tuesdays at 10 a.m. Pacific and Thursdays at 4 p.m. Pacific online. Sign up at day one, uh, yes and exercise. Uh, dot org and uh, the improv tab is right there we'll see you on the next dose